Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. My guests are here. Everything's unscripted. I'm going to show you what to look for because that's going to help you make money and build great collections for yourself. My guests are here from all over the world. Thanks for, to them for joining me. Let's get started. Is this my, oh, okay. I guess we'll talk to Leo from Florida. Hi, Leo. Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> Maybe that other person will get it together and come back. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. Show me what you got, honey. Uh, I've got my dip in my you got some pearls. Kind of like what I got here. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I went for a jewelry today for whatever reason. I just decided to give it a shot. And okay. See where to okay. go from there. So. so back it up for me so everybody can see it. Triple strand necklace. Uh, they look like they're probably seven millimeters, maybe even eight millimeters, somewhere in this. I like think they're about seven millimeters, and they're seven triple and a half. strand. Seven and a half, okay. Yeah. And uh, seven and a half. And then, of course, it seems like it's graduated, but graduated is usually when it goes smaller in the back to bigger in the front when you're looking for what to look for. Graduated is not when you have three strands that go down this way. Okay, okay. so that's a triple strand. Um, is it marked at all? Yeah, the, the clasp is marked 14 karat. Great. Um, and it also has a, like a, it looks like a V mark on it and it says F E C. Okay. So, and it's a box clasp. So you push down on it and it goes into the box, right? Yeah. You push it into the little, little hard with your big man hands, baby, because yeah. I can't say it. <laughs> it goes so, into, it slides in and then yep. uh, it clips under. Yeah. I want, I want you to show it to me out open like this again. Not for me, but for everybody else. Okay. So oh. you see the triple strand. All right. Are they individually oh. knotted? No, that was one thing that I looked for. And I, I, I didn't see that, but I still went for it just because I thought there were real pearls and it's marked 14 karat. I think that's uh, a good idea. You should go for it. Why not take the chance? Wh where'd you get them? A thrift store? Yeah. All right. How much did you pay? I paid a little more than I would normally, but I was going for it. And the lady next to me kind of freaked me out because she had a scale and a loop. And I'm like, oh, she's going to get it. Um, so I paid a hundred bucks, but... Um, All right. Come closer, shot. come closer for me. So a hundred bucks is a lot of money, right? Yeah. When you're trying to figure this out and you're trying and you're getting stuff for two, three bucks and you're just flipping it like this. Cause a lot of you have been showing you on real bargains. A lot of you are selling this stuff at my appraised values. So get this a little closer to the camera and let me show people a couple different things. First of all, that's great. First of all, um, when you're looking at this, it's not a bad, I would prefer if they were individually knotted because yeah. that would give you some more information about, of course, these. If you'll look at the ones closest to the camera, they look a little bit whiter. The rest of them look to have sort of a beigey pink color, okay? If you move it out of, if you move it back, you can see that all three of these strands are the same luster and the same color. That is important for the value of pearls, okay? Yeah. Now, the longest one looks like it hits sort of mid-bust on me, which would be somewhere around 24 inches. So the longest one, 24 inches. If you open it up and you measure from end to end, about 24 inches. Am I yeah, close? It curves, it, it curves up to the others, but the shortest one is about 17 inches, and then it, okay. the other one's curved. Okay, so, but if you opened it, the shortest one, the shortest one is 17, yeah. the next one's probably 20, maybe the next one's 22, something like that. You're in that neck of the woods. Now, they look like they are freshwater pearls. They are not individually knotted. They're in a 14 karat gold class. They look like they date to the 1980s. Okay. And I would say value on them about $850. All right, well, I did okay. So that's not bad for a $100 investment. Yeah, you know? I, I, I knew that it was you know, a little more than I'd want to. Um, yeah. But I found another piece at the same time that I knew was going to cover it if I missed with this. So All I right. <laughs> All right. So yeah. the other the other thing about those, remember, is value depends on when you sell it. You know, I had some troll the, uh, the other day. I was going, it's not when you sell it. It is when you sell it. <laughs> People do not care as much when they are, you know, it's August and they're swimming. They don't yeah. care about having the pearls that they're going to wear out to the holiday party. At holiday time, those will go for 1200 bucks. Oh, wow. OK, so yeah. you've got to think about when to sell it, too. So, you know, I want you to understand how to make the most money. And a lot of these people who say things that are, you know, disparaging about me or to me is because they don't want you to know the truth. I want you to all succeed. That's why I'm doing this. So reselling tips like that. Know when to sell is a, is a good one. Hey, I've got a question of the day for you. And thank you for letting me show everybody the box class. 14 karat gold. I'm sorry. You're going to take a chance if it says 14 karat gold on yeah. it. You should. And I, I knew I had another piece that was going to be worth 20 times what I paid. So I said, this was just a, well, there you go. Give it a shot and see what happens. And I watched a couple of your videos before I went back to the store and got it. 
Um, so great. Said, well, I did. I do a lot of videos. videos go back. I do a lot of videos on how to tell, particularly pearls. There, that one is very, very mm -hmm. popular. Lots of you are watching it and rewatching it. That's yeah, what they're there. That's what they're I, there for. I saw it last night at the store. It was closing. I said, I'm going to go home and watch some pearl videos, and then I'll go back and get it if I'm confident enough. You're a smart guy, Leo. What can I say? Anyway, <laughs> question, question of the day. Question of the day is about you're at an event. Speaking of events, maybe a wedding or you're at some kind of event. Do you like a buffet or do you like a sit-down dinner? Do you want to be served? Uh, I, I prefer a buffet, I think. Yeah. Okay. Back as many times as I want. You like variety and as yeah. much as you can, right? As much as you can eat. Exactly. Nice to see you. Congratulations. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, jewelry is going to be a big deal, right? And it's going to be relatively easy, of course, for you to identify. How do you identify it? You identify it based on my marks. I tell you about it for the marks. And I tell you other trips that have nothing to do with the marks. I'm going to show you what to look for. Thank you for the super chats and super stickers because they support me doing extra videos for you. I want you all to succeed. That's what I want. I know you can do it. All you have to do is watch my videos, all of them, right? Watch them, share them. And as you're watching and sharing, you're going to learn what I keep saying. This is a good thing. This is a good piece. You can find this at the thrift store. You can find that. A lot of you are taking notes on what I say you should go and get. You're going to the thrift store, the estate sale. You're not passing by these pieces and you're buying them for a little bit and you're reselling them for a lot. And that's what I want. I think that's great. I think that's great. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I want to know where you're call, where you're watching from or calling in from. And I also want to know if you want to be served or if you like a buffet. So they have their goods and their bad, right? Their good side and their bad side. So I'm Dr. Lori. My guests are here. Let's see what they've got. Some jewelry, some Santa, a plate. Well, let's take a look at the jewelry. Let's take a look at this piece of, uh, I guess it's a pendant on a long, on a long span, on a long chain. Yes. Is this Christy? It is. Hi, Christy. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good, Christy. It's nice to see you from New Hampshire, right? Yes, you too. Yeah. Now, some of, thank you, honey. Now, some of you are starting to go, oh, she always picks the same people. Oh, she's been on more time. Let me tell you all something. All of you folks who are complaining, get in here. I want to pick everybody as much variety as I can get. However, I can only choose the people who are in waiting. So get here, do it. I will be happy to choose all of you. There are no favorites here. I love all of you equally. So I want you to get on there and I can only choose who's here. So get on it and don't complain about, I don't know how to do it. Go to the specials and shop page at drlaurieb.com. Scroll down. The information is right there in a link about how do you get on to the Ask Dr. Lori live show. I hear all kinds of belly aching. I don't like belly aching. So I hear all kinds of belly aching about, I don't know, I don't know, I can't do it. It's so hard. It's not hard. I make it very easy. Specials and shop page all the way down. There's a link at the bottom. It says, you want to participate and be part of it? Click it. Follow the directions and read. My biggest pet peeve, people, nobody follows directions and nobody reads. You got to read a little. <laughs> Click that link. You'll get it. You'll get on so I was talking to Christy. She had a piece of jewelry. Hi, Christy, honey. Tell Hi. me about this. Where'd you get it? Was it a blue box for Goodwill? It was. <laughs> and it's actually, it's very the tender herringbone. It right. like almost will break. And it says 18 karat Italy. Okay. My lore. Get close for me. Yeah. Now I want you to look at that herringbone. If you look at that herringbone and where I am, don't move it too much for me. If you look at it from, her hand is on one side. If you look at the other side where it looks like there's blue tape on the other side, you can see a little bit of a crinkle in that herringbone. Those particular pieces, while they are 18 karat gold and that's great, they're very, very thin. And what happened is in the late part of the 1980s, they stopped making those nice thick herringbone chains. And now you really can't get a nice thick herringbone chain anymore because What's happened is the manufacturers have said, well, you know what, they'll clink and they'll crink and they'll crinkle and they'll crinkle and people would keep bringing them into the jewelers and the jewelers said, okay, we can't do the herring bones anymore. These are really problematic. So that's what you're, that's what you're actually seeing in terms of this. So basically that's not great. It's good that it's 14 karat gold, but it's probably very low gram weight. It's very light probably, and it crinkles easily. So you gotta be careful of that because then you end up doing this the whole time, trying to get your herring bone to go back into shape. You know what I mean, Christy? Yeah. yeah. Tell me about the pendant. 
it's it's like a gold nugget that has no shape to it, really. Okay, get closer to me for just the just the pendant if you can. I like it on the black better. I know you were trying to help. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. And tilt it toward the left or the right. Let me see if I can get some of that glare off of that. And yeah, toward the other way. And then tilt it up from the bottom up. Okay, stop. All right, that's pretty good. It does look just like a nugget. It looks like a nugget of gold. Is the nugget of gold pendant marked or just the clasp that says 18 karat Italy? Just the clasp. Just the clasp, okay. So the nugget is probably, of course, 14 karat. It probably is, in fact, uh, a nugget like you would see those kinds of uh, irregularly shaped forms to look like it's a natural piece. I would say for the 18 karat gold necklace, you're probably looking at about $500 and for retail and for that pendant, you're probably looking at another 200. I'd just go 700 on this. That might be a little on the high side, 650, 700 based on actual sales records. But I'm guessing that you paid 39.99 for the blue box. You paid a little bit in shipping and you got a lot of pieces, right? Right. And I almost, and I was going to put it out there for like a hundred again, like I did with the other <laughs> platinum you one. <laughs> you don't want to do that. That's why I'm on here. Yeah, I know. This is why, because I want to teach you what to look so far. So while that is fine because it's 18 karat gold, it is quite thin. And if you have those little crinkles in certain in certain links, you know, this doesn't happen in a Figaro link. It doesn't happen in a Cuban link. It doesn't happen in some of the bigger links. The San Marco link doesn't do that either. But that particular, like I've got a wheat link, you know, the wheat link doesn't do that either. But basically that little tiny thin herringbone, hard to keep it straight. It's hard. And when you store it in my jewelry box, you can buy the jewelry box online at drlaurieV.com. And yes, I get compensation when you buy a jewelry box from me through our website. But when you do it in the jewelry box, you have to actually put it in and literally uh, like make circles because it can't just be thrown into the jewelry box. You take it off, you just put it in there. You can't do that. You got to make sure that it lays flat in the jewelry box too. I can't believe it didn't break in the blue box. Yes, I know. Imagine that. That's probably where it got the crinkle, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I digress. Nice to see you. Congratulations. You One too. more question before you go. Buffet or served dinner at an event? Do you like to mingle and talk to people at the buffet or you want to sit down and, and have the waitress or the waiter come to you? Buffet, just because I'm picky. Oh, you're a picky eater, so you want to eat what you like. Yes. All right. So you don't worry that it's cold? Uh, no. All right. Yeah. you're a trooper i like it nice to see you <laughs> you too thank you thank you and thank you of course for participating all of you i want you all to participate so get in there and join me i'm dr Lori, the phd antiques appraiser and of course i'm help i'm helping all of you with what to look for and art antique appraisals right here my guests are here yeah the recommended magnet appraisal is sold out well we'll have to get we'll have to get on that right I know because you guys are listening to me and that's why you're succeeding. The loop, the diamond tester, the presidium. How about that black light? We added those because, you know, when you ask me, Dr. Lori, I really want this. I really need this. I look into it and we see what you need. I'm listening to what you need. So thank you for that comment. I appreciate that. Get your recommended products on my website, drlaurieV.com. And one of the best recommended product isn't a product at all. It's our gift certificates. That's right. If for somebody who has every single thing and you don't know what to get them, video call gift certificates. They're very popular. It's the folks who can talk to me about their objects. It's a great gift. And you can hint around to people about it. You know, have them watch the video. I'll, I can be your hint for you. You know, watch this video with Dr. Lori because she's going to tell you about it, the holiday gift I really want or the birthday gift I really want. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Let's see what you got. Good Santa. We've got a print. We've got somebody with a bad connection. Well, let's go to Santa. That's how I can. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What's your name? Hollenbeck. What's your first name? Hollenbeck. Hi, Hollenbeck. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Can you put this back a little bit more? Yeah, I want to see the whole piece. So it has a little bit of holly on the bottom, and you've got Santa kind of waving. Is there a mark on the underside? No, it's... Okay. <laughs> it's the music okay. box, but it's, yeah, just obviously... <laughs> it's got some issues, right, Hollenbeck? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How'd you acquire it, hon? Um, I got it at a thrift store. Don't play the music, okay? I won't. Don't play the music. It's. I don't think it works. So is it ceramic? Yeah, it's ceramic. Yeah. 
Okay. It sounds like it's actually, um, it sounds like it is actually painted, but not hand painted. It looks like it's actually a spray. You know, they do that. They basically cover up portions of the ceramic, then they spray over it. Uh, the holly at the bottom is definitely a transfer wear image. That same holly goes around all the bases of the holiday pieces. And there's no mark on it at all. No, not that Show I me could. Santa's face, if you would. Here's how you're going to identify whether he's English, whether he's American, whether he's French, what he is. He's American. And one of the reasons why you can tell what to look for, you're all going to laugh. Santa's looking off to one side. Santa's looking off to another side. Santa's eyes usually, you know, like my eyes are over here. My eyes are over there. That's basically what you start to see in typical uh, 1970s, late 1970s pieces like this one, eyes on one side, American. So how much did you pay? Like $4.99. Thrift store, Will? Yeah. Yeah. $4.99 is a little high because he's only worth 25 bucks. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he's American. There's a lot of them out there. A lot of them okay. out there. Now, you could sell him better, you know, at holiday time if you said, well, you know what? He's popular at holiday time. You know, if, if you're in the middle of the summer or the springtime, you know, you got to get Santa on sale. But at holiday time, toward the end of the year, he's going to be up in value some more. So okay. pretty good, pretty good. Hey, do you like a buffet, Hollenbeck, or do you like a sit-down dinner if you're at a big event? Sit down dinner. So do I. I, I want, right? You want to be served, don't you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you got all dressed up. You put on your good makeup, right? <laughs> and you're mm -hmm. thinking, I don't think I'm going to go up and down and up and down the whole time, carry the thing and talk to this one. And I want to sit. Yeah, anyway, I should probably move more. The doctors would say move more, but you know, mm -hmm. I'd rather sit. Nice to see you, Hollenbeck. Nice to see you. Bye. Don't forget to tell me where you're watching from or where you're calling from. And I'm happy to see all of you. So I'm glad you're all participating. Show me those objects. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter. Why? All kinds of insider tips and information on the newsletter at drlaurieV.com. Holland Beck gets the newsletter. I'm sure she does. My guests are here. Let's see what they've got. Tips and information on the newsletter. So, the, so yeah, the person still hasn't, hasn't pulled that off, so... She doesn't turn that off still. Let's see what this brooch is like. Someone's got some black gloves on and a brooch. You know, I do like the, the single strand pearl that was there. And I did like also the work of art. I'll do that in a minute. Oh, they're earrings. Is that the deal? Clip-ons? Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, hi, hi Dr. Lori. What's your I'm name? Jo I'm Joey from Manitoba, Canada. Hi, Joey. So, so, so tell me about these. Where did you get them? They're in those nice little bags. You know, we sell those bags online too. Oh, she went green. Idiot. So this oh, one is like a... Uh, Joey, what happened to you? Joey went green. Oh, here she is. She's back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So this is an earring. Yes. Oh. Clip on. Um, uh, from There's a marker here. Uh, it's from Butler. Oh, it's a Butler earring? Yes. Other right. than that, it, does, it doesn't have any like stamp or uh, what the metal is. It, just, just a custom jewelry. Turn it over for me. I'll show you what the metal is. <laughs> All right. That piece is a gold tone base metal. So they actually put the gold overlay on top of the base metal clip ons probably dates to about the 1970s. And I would say, I don't know what you paid for it, Joey. You're going in and out. But $2. $2. $2. $2. Okay. Yep. $2 for them. I would say the Butler piece is probably $20 for the pair. And you've got a big Mobay faux, faux, false Mobay pearl in the center. And then you've got some enamel work. And then you've got some crystals that are supposed to look like diamonds. They're nice. They're going to dress up an outfit. But um, again, the clip-ons and gold tone metal, I would say about 20 bucks for it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go away from Joey because she's back and forth. I'll ask uh, the question of the day to somebody else for Joey or Joey can answer it in the comments. That's one of the ways we can solve that. But basically what you want to look for when you're looking at costume jewelry and you're looking for, in fact, enamel pieces, you have to make sure that that enamel, the black portion of those earrings, they make sure that that enamel is very well done. Make sure they colored in the lines. You know how that is? Make sure that it's in the lines because if it's sloppily done, not worth as much, decreases in value. If it's sloppy enamel painting. So there you go. So my guests are here all over the world. I'm Dr. Lori. I'm going to show you what to look for. Lots of information right here. And don't Here's forget, of course, about the binge sure. link. You haven't used the binge link. How many of you guys have used the binge link yeah, but, sitting here? 
It's and I've got a camera else. that's not right. horizontal. <laughs> People who are talking, the woman in the black shirt, camera's not horizontal. It has to be horizontal. You guys using the binge link, the two of you? Yes. You've been using it? It's easy to find, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's take no a look. Problem. No problem, right? It's easy to find, right? right? And on the binge link, you can find it at drlorev.com. Again, you got to scroll down the specials and shop page. Easy to find. Big red button. Right. Let's take a look at this lamp. Looks like it's glass. Let's take a look. Hi, Dr. Hi, Dr. Lori. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Where are you? I'm from Gilroy, California. What's your first name? Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. Can you speak up, honey? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, it's nice to see you with this ruffled ruffled collar enamel basically it's enamel painted onto green glass lamp they made this into a lamp it was a lumineer sometimes called a reflector first and then somebody decided to make it into a lamp and it looks like the construction of the top of that lamp you see those two double sockets with the little chains looks like that lamp probably dated to the early years of the 20th century can you hold it up or back up so we can see all of it thank you very much sabrina where'd you get it honey from the from the bins Goodwill. From the bins at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. So you paid by weight, like a couple cents or a couple dollars for it? Um, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Do you ever wonder, do you ever wonder, how is this glass thing still in one piece from the bins? <laughs> right? Right? Exactly. I know. Some of these things, you're surprised that it's all still, still in one piece. That plug is circular. Do you see that round plug? Can you hold yeah, it up to the camera as close as you can get? It. What did you say? It's, it looks really old. I was afraid to plug it in. I would not plug it in because it doesn't have its cover. Usually those round plugs have a cover that goes over and the two prongs come out. It dates between the late 1920s and the early 1940s. Those are very typical plugs. They're more popular as you get to the 30s and 40s than they are at any other time. Round plugs actually look like the cars of the time of the 1940s. Everything's rounded. It's one of the ways you can remember. So it's what to look for. Can you show it to the camera so everyone can see it? The plug, the plug, the plug, there you go. That's what I wanna see. So those screws and that wire would be covered and it's no longer there. So be careful, I would not plug it in if you don't have to. Um, now, you paid a couple bucks, let's say even a buck for that particular lamp. It dates, of course, the lamp itself dates to the 1930s or so. The plug is, is about that same time period. I would say value on it, just about $65. You only have one? Yes. Not bad, based on actual sales records, why? The glass, of course, is really nicely done. The painting on the glass is done. If you can get it closer to the camera so we can see the middle of the body of it so everybody can see the little beads at the bottom, little bands of gold. If you can tilt the cam if you can tilt the, the lamp downward from the top, there you go, and you can see the nice daisy. Also notice that the, the glass itself, while it is on another, on a base, Originally, it would have just been, again, sort of looking like a luminaire. They put a candle inside of it. Somebody decided to make it into a lamp. About $65 for your dollar investment. So if you look at it that way, it's 65 times what you paid. Not bad, right? Not bad. Yeah, thank <laughs> not, you, bad. So do you get my newsletter? I do, yes. I'm subscribed to you. Uh -huh. And it comes, of course, just in your email box. It's easy to sign up. Go, to the, go of course, to drlorev.com where we have the thumbs up, where it says free and thumbs up. Go there and just give me your email address. We'll send it out to you whenever we do it. It's regular. Regularly, we send it out. Question of the day is about a buffet or a sit-down dinner. You're at a big event. Which do you prefer? Buffet. A buffet. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, no, my pleasure. So when you're looking at glass, of course, you have to remember that while ceramics are oftentimes repurposed, right? You have a ginger jar and somebody decides to make it a lamp and they drill a hole through the middle, through the bottom of it, and they make it into a lamp with a cap. When it comes to glass, that is more, um, that is much more uncommon. So you don't see it with glass as much as you do with ceramic when it's making something into, of course, a lamp. And this is big for the Americans. The Americans are always doing that. The Americans are always, you can't just have a, a piece that looks that looks nice and is pretty, right? So that's basically, and the Americans are like, we have to have something fa functional all the time. I see it all the time where things are getting repurposed. But that's part of the American ingenuity too. So it's a nice piece. I like that lamp. And at the bins, we always like the Goodwill bins because you know what? There's lots to be found. 
I'll tell you a couple stories coming up in, in new videos about what's been found in the bins. You can find some great stuff too, real bargains, that's for sure. I'm Dr. Lori, we've got guests galore. Let's see what they've got. Pick me, a woman, Dave, I'm get him. Let's see what we've got. Nope. Well, we've got a sconce and we've got this piece that's so close to the camera we can't really see it. It looks like it's something with an insert. So that is probably, that looks like silver plate. And then we've got an iridescent glass bowl. Let's go with the iridescent glass bowl because lots of you like to hear me talk about glass. Let's see what you got. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How you doing? Good. How you doing, doctor? I'm doing good. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? It's Jake from Minnesota. Hi, Jake. So how'd you acquire this piece of uh, ruffled? It's a really, kind of a ruffled dish. It's kind of shallow mm -hmm. for a bowl. And it could be used as a candy dish. It's iridescent glass. Can you hold it up to the camera like my hand is? Like that away? Yeah. Like that away. Yeah, that will help me stop. Nice. Mm -hmm. And now, first of all, I want you all to look at the center of this. It radiates out with those lines. You can see that, right? And then you can see the middle has sort of most of the metallic salts that are actually introduced, right, to make this what's oftentimes called iridescent glass. Some people will call mm -hmm. it carnival glass. Don't move, put it back. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> what to look for. And then you'll notice that's the inside. It kind of has more orangey or gold. And then it looks like there's some blue and green. And then you see this other concentric circle sort of halfway through that also mm. repeats that same color. That indicates that there's a high quality master who is basically make, put placing those metallic salts so it will actually look this way. If it's done willy-nilly, the inexpensive ones are done willy-nilly, then the collectors are not as interested in it. Is it marked? No, it's not marked. At all? Did you look? Nope. I looked real careful up and down and underneath. And okay. And no you did, and did you look, did you look with the loop or did you just look with your naked eye? No, I just looked with the naked eye. I couldn't yeah. see well, anything. If I see something, I think I maybe my, bust out the loop or this or that. I'm going to point my little Italian finger at you now. <laughs> the loop, turn on the right. light. I know you're young and you're thinking, I can see it. I can see it. You you're will be right. shocked at how much more you can see with the loop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do that. The other thing I'm going to tell yeah. you is it really looks like a piece of Fenton. And the yeah, reason I think why. Fenton stippled rays. I'm uh -huh. telling you why it looks like Fenton. That, what I described, uh -huh. that concentric circular pattern and the way in which right. they pay attention to the coloration is why I think it's Fenton. And Fenton, of mm -hmm. course, was one of the first uh, glass manufacturers, West Virginia, who in fact said, we're going to make iridescent glass for you. So they have a mm -hmm. long tradition of it. It's a nice piece. Where did you get it? How much did you pay? I actually got it at an estate sale. And I was smart. I bought it on the last day for only $5. There you go. $5 <laughs> the last day. Nice. I yep. like it. I think it's Fenton in the, in right. about the $50 to $55 range. So you did very well at 5 Great. bucks. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Now, That's Jake, good. I'm going to guess that my question of the day to you, right? And I know you use the mm -hmm. binge link, and I know you have the newsletter. I know you've participated oh, yeah. in, these, in these before. Um, but basically... When I would say that as somebody like you probably likes a buffet, right? I say both. <laughs> Sit down and buffet. Why not? <laughs> right. Let them bring the food to me uh, and I'll go get more, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Guy after know. my own heart. Likes to eat. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Bye, Jake. Yeah. So, yeah, that was nice. And I want you to understand what you look for in iridescent glass because you're all saying, oh, it's carnival glass and all of it's great. Not all of it's great. You have to be able to identify the quality. And if I teach you that, no one's going to no one is going to beat you in finding the great pieces. I'm showing you what you should get, what you should collect, what you should buy to flip if you decide that you want to just be a reseller and make some money at this. A lot of you are starting whole new side jobs, careers, even new careers doing this with me. So I'm glad about that. And I want you all to succeed. Fun, fun, fun. So uh, carnival glass, iridescent glass, as is known, where they melt the metallic salts while they're in the glass blowing process. Very, very popular with collectors and buyers as well. And on my website, of course, my research pages, I'll teach you how to, in fact, list those pieces so they're reselling. All right, let's see. Looks so it like looks like we've got a hand-colored piece. The woman in the black shirt still is hor is not horizontal, so she's going to have to figure that out. Let's see. I've got one that's... Uh, 
very close. I can't really see it. I've got this sconce. The sconce is, you know, metal outline sconce uh, with the with the candle. Not great. And this other piece, which looks like one of a pair, actually, which is sort of a horn of plenty piece of ceramic, one of a pair. That piece is uh, one that's probably, uh, you know, mass produced in large numbers, too. Let's talk about the blue uh, brooch. It's blue and it looks like it might be gunmetal, that brooch. Yeah. Yeah. Against the pink. She's going to have to back up, though. I got it, Dr. Wally. Hi, Dr. Hi. Wally. Carmen and Dave from Rhode Island. Oh, it's Dave and Carmen, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Rhode Island. How are you doing? Oh, good. How are yeah, you doing? How are you? I think you're doing fine, sweetie. Back up some. That's me. Uh -huh. uh, no, you're both okay. All right, so tell me a little bit about this, Carmen. Tell me, how did you get this? I actually bought it from an online estate sale. I'm sorry, my dog is having fun with her toy right now. Yeah, the dog needs to move. Sit, yeah. sit, sit. Stop. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. You want more light? Um, I got it from an online. No, no more, no more light. An online estate sale for actually three ninety nine. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. Is it marked? It is mocked, but I can't tell what it says, and I don't, I can't see anything right now. I want to say it says, um, oh my gosh, I really don't know, Doctor Lori, to be honest with you. All right, Sorry. you can be on, you, know, you can always be honest with me. You can tell me anything. All right, can you turn it over for me, like the other side? And I appreciate the piece of paper; it does help. Thank you for that. And move over a little bit because I haven't got the whole thing in the shot. No, you're all right. Really, it's not you. All right. I, I like the structure of Carmen. I like the structure of this. And here's yep. why I like it. It's a very long pin, right? It's a very long pin. It's not, it's not quite a bar pin, but here's what I want you to look for. Okay. And, okay. So, so first of all, that long pin is one of the things. And then you'll notice that the length of the pin is so long because it's actually holding on to the whole length of that pin, right? The whole right. length of the decorative pin. Yep. I will tell you that the piece is reading as if it is sterling silver, okay? Can you turn it over and let me see those blue stones? That piece is marked. And here's why it's marked, right there. Come back, come back, come back, come back, right, 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 right. there, stop, on the side. So you see those little tiny holes? The yep. little tiny holes in the side of it? You're not getting it. Tilt it down. Tilt it down. Oh, the Tilt other way. down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> down, 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 sweetie. Keep going. Stop. Yeah, no, David, I can't see it now. Oh. Let me see. We're going to have to edit this whole thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right here. On this, I want to see the side view. There it is. That's what I want. Yeah. Just stop. Now put the pink paper in front of it. Hey, hold the pink now paper. stop. Don't move. Stay right there. Do you see all those holes? They look like little rectangular holes going the whole way, right? Those yeah. holes are basically what indicate that that piece is, of course, a good precious metal. Why does it indicate that? Because they're trying to get light in through the piece. So you put the pin on, right? And they want to get light to come in this way and this way and this way. So those stones will actually sparkle. That's what they need. They need the, of course, reflective quality. Show me the stones. I'm going to like this for $3.99. Uh -huh. oh. This way. Stop. Don't move. Finally. Ah, uh, hallelujah. <laughs> All right, let me see. Yeah, the stones look good too, I have to say. The stones look good. Did you test them with the diamond tester? I actually have not. No, I didn't. All right, when you have a chance, test them with the diamond tester. Those stones look to be probably cubic zirconias. They don't look like they are sparkling very much like diamonds. I would say value on that piece, $150. That's a oh. nice piece. Most of the value is in the, the actual metal. And then you do have some pretty nice stones there too. So awesome. my patience to both of you. Thank you for I your patience and going you. through all that. You. <laughs> you guys did a good job. It just took 12 tries, you know. I yeah, know. Well, but well, we love 15. you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Hey, wait, before you guys go, I appreciate it. I do. Before you guys go, buffet oh or sit down Thank dinner. You. you look good. You both look good. <laughs> Thank you. We say buffet, uh, buffet or sit down dinner. Oh, no, sit down dinner. You like sit down. I like buffet. I like to pick what I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Dave. I like to sit down, serve me, you know, roast sit beef or something, dinner, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, he works hard, so he wants to be served. I serve him every day. <laughs> Dave, what do, you, what do you do for a living? Can I ask that you work hard? Oh, I'm a truck driver. Oh, Dave. Yeah. You're working hard. Wow. You're always working oh, yeah. hard, those guys. 
Yeah. 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 He's Good man. to see you. Don't work too hard. Take a little vacation for yourself. Oh, yeah. We do once in a while. We went to Memphis for my birthday in August. Yay. Hey, Memphis is fun. Memphis is fun. Yeah, good <laughs> Bye. Bye. My friends from Rhode Island. All right. You're all my friends. But that was fun. A lot of good things to see. A lot of good objects, too. And you guys are very good. I'm Dr. Lori. See you next time.